Do you have any moments in your life where you look back and your skin starts to crawl from embarrassment? Personally, yep, I have. I would say I probably have 10 or 12 recurring ones for a long time really bothered me and it's so great uh, that I get to talk to people in my work but if you are one of those people that has many of those cringe memories that come back just realize you're not alone we all have these and I want to give you a little bit of uh, feedback in terms of how you process these memories uh, because they're so intrusive. They're, they, you could be in the shower one morning and just this memory pops up into your mind of one of the cringe moments that you felt deeply embarrassed and awkward in. Maybe you have a lot of regrets and a lot of shame tied up in it. Now, what's driving these memories is a fundamental core belief. It's one of the three core beliefs I talk about. And it is the belief that they're in being defective, in that there's something wrong with me. Shame, guilt uh, are tied up in this. Now, in terms of processing this, one exercise, it's not an easy exercise to do, is just one day in journaling, what I invite you to do here is to sit down and write down, you know, you can call this journal entry, cringe moments or something, right? Where you look back in your life and you look at, in sequence, the moments in which you felt that really skin crawling embarrassment. Usually, of course, it's around other people. The bigger the group, sometimes the more intense it can be. Just to write them down and to see, we're gonna do like a stock take here, an evaluation of how many of these moments are there for me? Um, and how often do these thoughts intrude on my life? Because they pop up seemingly at random, but for many of us, they happen so often that it can kind of become an issue, right? And it can really start to erode away at our sense of self-worth. Now, the secret to this, if there is a secret, is how, how do we let this go? How do we process it? And I know many people have approached this differently. I know many people have tried to like reframe memories or change memories even, which to me seems a little bit difficult to do. I don't think it's about that. I think it's, it's about looking at the memories. And here's the thing, here's the secret. You have to give yourself complete permission to experience moments like this. What I'm really saying is, it is how you are perceiving these moments in your life and using them against yourself that is the main problem. Give yourself complete permission to experience moments like this in your life. You have to give yourself permission. You, now, another, what does that mean, give yourself permission? You have to come to terms with the fact that you're allowed to do that. That thing that made you, your skin crawl, okay? And it's, uh, I'm, the reason I'm talking about this is it's like, we don't often talk about this. I don't hear many people talking about this issue and it's, it's one of those things that can gnaw away in the background with us sometimes. So for me personally, many times, like public speaking, I've given loads of talks over the years Many of them, most of them, almost all of them have been good. Few of them have been cringeworthy. <laughs> a few of them I have really made a, like anxiety took over or something. And I found it difficult in those moments. And how I was processing those experiences was dysfunctional, right? So that needed to be worked on. And ultimately, when you look at it, Give yourself full permission. Allow yourself to do it. It is how you 
are viewing these memories that is all important and if you realize if you give yourself complete permission really to even celebrate the fact that that's what I did that happened to me okay I can guarantee you that this won't matter so much but I'm going to say it anyway no one else is thinking about these moments not one soul right and but if they're popping up in your awareness again and again really the issue is okay I need to learn to let this go I need to learn to live with this memory and it's in full, full giving yourself full permission to be a person that's allowed to do that thing that awkward socially awkward thing that happened maybe you said the wrong thing maybe you had an anxiety attack or something like that said something wrong maybe you were asking someone out on a date maybe you said something wrong in a, in a like a job interview or something like that giving yourself permission to have these experiences will mean that you're going to free yourself up to be way more creative and open to risk in the future but really the, the most important thing is that these memories that pop up and they're like a thorn in your side sometimes they will start to fade off in fact here's another thing I would invite you to try every time a memory like that pops up into your awareness amplify the memory really go into the memory proactively because usually what happens is when these memories pop up we want to oh, get away from it right what we need to start doing proactively is when these memories come up amplify it welcome up that memory and c celebrate that moment of your life see it as one of the best moments in your life that's what I mean by embracing it this issue is so common for us but we don't talk about it that often and I think that tells us that we're trying to escape these moments right? we don't want to look at them many many people hugely successful people um, competent people have had these experiences I've seen a lot of them online of uh, people kind of having awkward moments whatever so you're not alone in this but you need to learn to celebrate these moments really give yourself permission to be a person that's allowed to do that in your life I'll leave it there today short video but uh, hope that was useful take care